Hello, my name is Todd Gregg, and today I'm going to show you how to lighten or darken your background in Photoshop. Have you ever had your photo shoot where you finished the shoot and then after the shoot you were editing your images and you looked and you said, okay, the exposure on the model looks good, but my background, it's a little dark or it's a little light. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you today how to fix and make that adjustment. So, and it's an easy fix. And right here, here's a recent shoot we had with uh, Christy. And you can see how the background, it's a little bit dark, okay? And what we want to do is we want to make that uh, image a little brighter. And I'm going to show you how to make it look like this. So, can you see the difference? Like, this is the final edited image and here is the original image so let me show you how to lighten that background up so what we want to do first of all we want to uh, right click and we want to come down here and I'm in Lightroom and you want to come over to edit in Photoshop and what's gonna happen is this image is gonna open up in Photoshop and then I'm gonna show you how to make the adjustment using the curves tool and you can also lighten the image you can darken the image as well so if you're shooting on a black backdrop and you have some lighting reflection in the black backdrop where it's bringing a little bit of attention to the back of the image you can darken it uh, conversely you can lighten the image which is what I'm going to show you here so the first thing we want to do is we want to grab our quick selection tool and we can do that simply by hitting the W key as our shortcut or we can come over here in the tools panel and we can just grab it from here so we have that and we can increase the size of our brush by hitting the right bracket key or we can decrease it by hitting the left bracket key and those are the keys right beside the P key on your keyboard. So the first thing we want to do is start in the top left corner and I just like to drag down and just make a selection of our model just like this and then we come back to the top and we just drag around and the beauty of this selection tool is it's smart enough to do a really good job on its own to make the selection and if you need to create a little more detail or have a little more detail all you have to do is just come up here to the refine edge tool and that will give you a little more detail if you need to work on some edges that are a little bit tricky but right here as you can see it's done a pretty good job I like to go in you see how the fringes of the hair are out I like to go in with my quick selection tool and even take it in a little further and just through experience I found that that doesn't affect the image at all um, because we're not gonna make a big uh, adjustment using the curves tool it's just gonna be subtle so if the hair is involved I'm more concerned with having the light background behind the hair as opposed to worrying about lightening these fringes a little bit Th that won't matter as you'll be able to see so now that we've made a selection and we've forgotten one little spot right here where her arm is extended from her body all we have to do is just go in there and select that and then once we make that selection we've done the hard part that's as difficult as it gets we just want to come down here and we want to grab our curves tool and all we have to do now if you watch the images I place my mouse right here in the center and I just push it up a little bit you can see how the background lightened up that's about as far as I would take it but just so you can see what this is doing I'm gonna push it up even further so we can exaggerate it and you know obviously that's way too much but you can see what it does now conversely if this was a black background and you wanted to darken it all you would have to do is just drag it down the opposite direction here and you see how that darkens it 
and that's how you would do that if you had a dark background but we're gonna pull it back up here just a little bit right there looks about good and over here if we turn off this adjustment layer you can see that's the original and here is the same image with the adjustment layer turned on and you can see that makes a big difference and it's just a little small step so I hope that helps you and leave me a comment below and I'll see you in the next video.